This is my new Troxler Pelican style box. 30 inches wide, 16 inches high, and 13 inches deep. Got it on eBay for 10 bucks. A little rough on the outside, but real nice on the inside. Got these lockable latches here. Open it up. We got a little power pack here. Got two inverters. 1500 watt modified sine wave inverter. 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. We got the 1500 watt inverter. Power that up. It's got two USB ports and two outlets. We've got uh, this outlet right here coming down to this ground fault circuit interrupter. Two outlets down here. Weatherproof metal boxes on the outside. So once you turn this, uh, once you turn this inverter on, you can shut the box and then run the power from the outside. Got the 300 watt pure sine wave inverter coming down to this waterproof outlet down here, which has two USB ports and a regular 120 outlet. I use this one, this one because it's pure sine wave, the lower wattage. This one will be for charging, uh, you know, charging lithium batteries for like drills and things like that, uh, ham radio batteries, anything that's sensitive. Powering up computers, any of these things don't really need much voltage. Over here, the 1500 watt can just be, uh, you know, lights, uh, larger appliances, things that don't need uh, or uh, that aren't really going to be damaged by modified sine wave. So, just I could run a whole string of lights on that one and then power up computers and sensitive electronics on this side so that's that one right there this is the uh, solar charge controller uh, got the positive and negative coming in from the battery I have not determined a way to hook up my solar panel yet there'll be a uh, positive and negative coming out of this charge controller and then somewhere probably right around here, uh, I need a way to just do a quick connect to the solar panel. And I haven't found the right, I haven't found the right port yet. But uh, eventually that'll just be, you know, a quick connect, plug it in, and then this charge controller will handle the incoming, uh, the incoming power from a 100 watt solar panel. Then uh, I've got this genius, NOCO Genius 7200, which is connected to this waterproof male, male input. So all I have to do is plug in an extension cord. And you can see what happens is this thing... Seems pretty sweet. Goes from uh, goes immediately into a 12 volt normal mode. This can also handle 24 volts, but it knew right away that we're on 12 volt normal, and uh, my batteries are are topped off, so it goes through this same system each time. 
it'll uh, it'll blink you here at 25 percent it's just sort of analyzing the batteries um, then it'll pretty quickly jump over to 50 and 75 and then to 100 and then it'll just it'll just uh, the the 100 percent will just be solid green in a few minutes and that's on a uh, that's on a maintenance charge so and then what I have underneath here I have everything here on you can see down here I've got five 35 amp batteries for a uh, total of 175 amp hours and I've got everything lined. I've got this box lined with half inch rigid foam insulation which will protect it from heat in the summertime and it'll uh, protect it from uh, freezing cold in the wintertime so I could leave this I could leave this in a garage outside closed up so yeah. and the panel I've got this uh, Got this board up on uh, four rubber legs. You see the NOCO has gone to, uh, yep, just switched right over. So you can see it, uh, if your battery was at a low charge, it'll, it'll go 20, it'll show 25%, then it, when it reaches 50%, then it reaches 75%. And then it'll it'll blink green when it's very close to topping off, and then as you just saw, it switched over to solid green, which is uh, you could just leave it indefinitely like this, as a uh, you know as a maintenance charge on the battery. The solar right now, I don't know if I should keep this hooked up or not. without the panels in there. I may just take these off. Um, it's okay to have them. You, you would never want to connect these. You would never want to have the solar inputs in without the 12 volt battery hooked in. If you just ran this with solar inputs and nothing else, you'll fry this charger. So you can have this uh, connected to the battery and uh, this Renology, Reno, Renogy, I've never quite, never quite been too happy with it. Um, it's only about thirty bucks, but it's uh, really hard to figure it out. Things blink, and uh, very simple charger. It's just, it's what I had. So that's the. Uh, that's the starting point of my, uh, what I call my big yellow juice box. This thing's heavy as hell. Probably weighs uh, well over 100 pounds with the five batteries in there. But I do like it. 300 watts of pure sine wave. 1500 watts of modified sine wave. With the external outlets, the external AC input, and there will be a uh, quick connect for my solar panels, solar panel, and then uh, we'll have this space right here for a. Uh, I'm gonna have a little watt meter here to uh, just so I can always uh, sort of see how many. Uh, how many volts are left on the battery? A little voltmeter, I mean, not a watt meter. A voltmeter, right here, a little digital voltmeter. So I can see what level the uh, see what level the battery is at at any given time. Uh, instead of just relying on 25, 50, and 75 percent, I want to see the actual voltage level at any given time of the battery bank, and that'll uh, that'll complete it. Got the Renner G solar charge controller, the Genius 7200. Uh, that's the 7200. This is uh, 7.2 amps, which is capable of charging 
a battery up to 240 amp hours. So with my 175 amp hours, uh, this is fully capable of doing uh, everything it needs to do. And then the, uh, the two, the two tra power inverters in here. Let's leave it closed off. I'm uh, considering putting some type of a vent here. If I could uh, either slide away or have it be like a little waterproof power port. Uh, just not sure how hot everything will get when I use it. Those are sealed lead acid batteries in there. So they don't just discharge any gases. But I'm, uh, I'm more worried about heat. I'm more worried about the, uh, the inverters heating up. So I will likely cut a, uh, cut a vent port into this. Uh, who knows? Let's see how it goes. So that's it. I will uh, I'll do a follow-up when I finish the, uh, the solar panel input and show it to you running at that point. Over and out.